Good evening and welcome back, or indeed just welcome if you're new to the channel. We've got an away match in the league today against Real Sociedad, and the team going into this match is the Regen Neuer in goal, with Baca, Gavardio, Lavaro and Costner in defence, Modric, Pedri and Fabio Vieira in midfield, and a front three of Ruben Castro, Messi and Martinelli, who will take the captaincy on band. So yes, an away match to Real Madrid today, and first off... If you are regular or you've been watching the past few videos, I do want to apologise. I am currently recording the night of the 27th of August. Actually, it's just rolled over midnight into the 28th. Um, <laughs> I've recorded a couple of videos before this one. Um, and actually was talking about some really decent things in the videos. I um, hadn't recorded in a while. Everything going well won the matches if you've seen them you'll know what happened in the matches and just as I was about to start recording this one I looked down at my controller and if you're familiar with PS5 two minutes we'll just get see what happens here oh, could have been a foul there but yeah when your microphone is muted the there's a, a little sort of light slash button at the bottom of the, the PS5 controller and it's like yellow, yellowy orange when it's muted and I looked down and I saw that now I don't record through that mic I record through um, a Blue Yeti Nano uh, through a USB which plugs it directly into the PS5 but you can still mute and unmute via the controller I automatically have that set to be unmuted Um earlier I was doing something and I was sort of faffing around and I muted it for some reason I can't remember why I wasn't actually recording um, and so the past two videos don't have me commentating on it now some people would say that's a blessing in disguise but just wanted to apologise for that I even thought about well not that I've edited them yet as of this moment I've literally just realised it's happened I even thought, well, could I roll back to a previous save before those? Well, no, I couldn't because I used multiple saves, but I had sort of done different things and I was looking at some players and removing players from my transfer list and all of this sort of stuff. And I had saved multiple times over different saves. Um, the second thing I could have done would be to sort of do a commentary over the top of the video after the fact. But I don't want to do that. Um, yes, Pedri. Oh, good save. I mean, first of all, if I ever did, I would tell you guys and say, by the way, you know, this is commentary post-match. Um, almost like, you know, if I did a highlights and spoke over the top of a song, but I would never record it after the fact and pretend it was as live. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just, well, you'll probably have seen... I'm going to put those videos up with no commentary. Um, or the other thing I could do is potentially maybe edit both of them down just into one video and do a highlights package, maybe. Could do that, but we'll see. Um, but I'll definitely not uh, do a fake live commentary or anything like that. Eh, hey, what a daft mistake to make. Uh, anyway, into this match. I've talked so much, I don't know what I'm doing in this match now. Apart from giving away fouls. Anyway, in one of the videos, which wouldn't have been recorded. At least the audio. I talked about a few updates. So I thought I might as well do that now. First of all, um, the video I'm going to talk about will be live now. It would have gone live on the 8th of September that's what I've got it scheduled for at the moment anyway I've done a, a master league sort of guide and tips video um, it's very in depth a lengthy video it's like 45 minutes long which I would say don't be worried about that there's very useful stuff in hang on he is back at oh what a strike from him with his right foot as well we'll get back onto that in a moment what a finish Very far forward, almost like a winger here. It's a nice ball in. Great touch, but absolutely smashed it in with his right foot. 
I was just looking at his stats earlier actually and his finishing stats are a lot less than what I thought because he scores some stunners great finish but the Master League video that I'm talking about a lot of work went into it I think about nearly three hours of raw footage maybe more um, edited down into about 45 minutes extra footage added in like little clips to show you things and some photos even of some old Pez players things like that Oof. but what I've done as well is I've created chapters in it which I've never done before and it's quite easy to do but I've, I've never thought of doing it um, but put chapters in you know the sort of key points quite a few different chapters so if you want to go in you can look at the chapters and see okay what interests you if you don't want to watch the full video totally understand be great if you could though um but if there's any tips you want go and check out the chapter titles you might spot a few things in there that you want to sort of see what i've got to say but i've got sort of at the start it's more of a, like a beginner's guide but then it goes into more sort of expert sort of areas like tips and tricks making money contracts Oop, hang on yeah little things that even sort of regular master league slash pez players may not know um so put them in there really enjoyed doing it a lot of work but i just fancy doing it for no other reason that i wanted to um even if it doesn't get many views or anything i've just just really wanted to do it I did do one a while ago for Pez 2017. Is Vieira. Oof. Now Modric. Pass straight to the keeper. Not much power. Yeah, I did one for Pez 2017 a while back. And actually, it's my most viewed video. I think when I checked it last, it was like 25,000 views, which for me is ridiculous. Um, I mean, if you look at my other videos, you know, I might... If one of my videos gets 100 or 200 views, excluding the shorts, because YouTube shorts are weird. Sometimes you get thousands of views. It's a weird one. But normal, regular videos, you know, I've had the odd one that goes into the hundreds, um, but not many. But that was also back when I didn't have as, as much experience recording and editing. and So this version is definitely a lot better, and it's very different. Um, and it's obviously focused on PES 2021, but I'm also talking about other PES games as well. So tips not just for this specific game, but ones that cover sort of PES and ISS in general, um, which I thought was useful. Kosunu, ah, it's over. So yeah, go check it out. There's definitely some something useful for everyone in there, I would say, if you're a Pairs ISS or eFootball player. I'm hoping eFootball gets Master League. I really do want to play it. I'm just a Master League player. I don't play online or multiplayer. Um, I never have with like football games. Anyway, it's half time. 1 0. A stunner from Backer. I keep double checking my microphone as well. <laughs> Make sure it's not mute. It's not. I uh, can't believe I've done that. I haven't actually recorded in a while as well. Um, I've been busy with other stuff. And obviously the... Uh, well, I say I haven't recorded. I've I recorded the the Master League guide, which was a lot of work, a lot of recording. It was quite tiring. Um, really enjoyed it, though. Oh, here's Pedri. Oh, good strike, but straight to the keeper. Just take this first before I start talking about something else. That's a poor one. And the other piece of news, um, just for myself really, but as you will know, Starfield has been one of the most anticipated games in a long time, but definitely this year. Um, it'll be out now as you watch this, watching this video. Hopefully it's as good as what I think it's going to be and what a lot of people think it will be. And I was good when it was announced that it wasn't going to be on the PS5 and that it was not an Xbox exclusive, but Xbox and PC exclusive. Hang on, here's Ruben Castro. Oh, another good save. Oh, he's offside. Basically, it was on everywhere but the PS5 and Switch. Um, but, yeah, I've always been 
a PlayStation owner. I've owned every PlayStation. Um, obviously got the PS1 when I was, God, how old was I? I don't know, quite young. Um, and I'm not one of these Sony fanboys or anything like that. You know, I've, I've had an Xbox 360, enjoyed it, but for some reason, the games that are on the PlayStation, I just seem to prefer. Um, I think both companies, both consoles, they're basically, they're basically on a level, you know? Um, I don't believe one's better than the other. I think sometimes Xbox will have a better year than Sony, um, or Microsoft rather. And then the next year, Sony will have a better year. It sort of swings and roundabouts. And both very good consoles. Both have very annoying fan bases. Fanboys, I just hate them. Don't care who. What console you like, if you're a fanboy and start slating the other one, yeah, I'm not interested. Um, oh, what a strike that was. Very unlucky. Got a wave on there because I'm too busy talking. Get back to what I was saying in a moment. Here's Castro. Uh, will that be a corner? No, it's a goal kit. Let's make some subs now. So Messi's going to go off for Diaby. Kang and Lee is going to come on for Fabio Vieira. And we've got Zergsy coming on for Castro. But yeah, long story short is I've decided... or well, I've already got one, but I went out and bought a an Xbox Series X. Um, I've been thinking about it for months. I kept telling myself I'm not going to get one just for Starfield. I can't do that. I can't justify it. Um, well, I've gone and done it, haven't I? Here's Xerxy. And there it is. The sub's making a difference. Diaby, Diaby into Xerxy. Straight away making an impact. Nice little one-two here. Nice ball, little curl around the corner. And a nice finish there. But yeah, just moving back to what I was saying. Um, it's just been one of those things that's been nagging me. I've got a gaming laptop, but it's a few years old now. And I can see it's starting to slow down a little bit. And I just don't think it would run Starfield very well. I've got a Steam Deck. I didn't get it that long ago, actually. Um... By the way, I'm not made of money, but I have spent a little bit on uh, things recently. Um, oh, good goal. And they deserve that as well. They nearly scored earlier. Very good finish. I'm not concentrating today, honestly. Um, very good goal. Anyway. I just thought I need to get one. I've got a Steam Deck. I... I would like to see if Steam Deck will run Starfield. I think it'll run it, actually. I think, at a minimum, it will run. Um, how many frames per second and all of that sort of stuff. I don't know. I don't... You wouldn't think it's going to run like... Oh, my word. The crowd is absolutely rocking there. Stadium is absolutely bouncing. It's a really wonderful dinked little sort of pass here. And he arched his back and got it over Schubert. Uh, no, you rather. Oh dear. But anyway, I've pre ordered Starfield as well. I cannot wait. I genuinely think that it's going to be one of those games of like a generation. Um. I know there's a lot of hype that goes into it. And at the moment, there's an embargo, so people can't actually, like... You know, people have had the game hands-on officially, but they can't uh, release their review or anything as I'm recording this. Here's Pedri. 3-2. And what a game this is turning out to be. Goals galore. And me absolutely waffling. Sounds like a normal video. Diaby again, making a difference into Xerxes. Nice little layoff there, and it's a great finish from Pedri. Some, some very good goals today from both sides. I think every goal has been good, actually. But yeah, I, I think Starfield's going to be one of those generational games where it's like 
a bit like Skyrim. I know there's jokes about Skyrim, like, you know, most people have owned Skyrim like five times and it's been released on almost every console since it launched, but I think it's going to be one of those games that you just have to, you have to play. And if you enjoy it, you'll play it multiple times. You'll go back to it years later. I think it's going to be one of those. Ugh. What is going on here? What is going on? I cannot defend to save my life today. Again, down that left side. Back up, just not being able to get in front of the attacker there. Ay, ay, ay. Losing out as well. Here's Martinelli. Six eight. Kang and Lee. And <laughs> it's four three. Uh, I don't know what's going on today. I'm having a weird day. First of all, with the microphone, balls on that up. And actually the two videos that I... I think it was two videos. The, the videos that I recorded that unfortunately now don't have the microphone on. Um, it was actually really... It was some of the best recordings I've done in terms of me talking. Um, making a lot more sense than I am in this video, that's for certain. One bloody time as well and uh, there wasn't recording. Anyway can't wait for stuff now by the time you watch this it'll be out i hope genuinely hope it's great not just for me but hang on a minute Oof, good block there that'll be a corner i just hope it lives up to the hype you know i know with any game there will be people out there that will slate it just because they can and people are already slating it before it's even released um sony fanboys and stuff and like i say i am mainly a Sony player you know I, I prefer the PlayStation in general always have it's just one of those things hang on here's DRB oh side netting I just don't get this console war thing though you know you're naturally probably going to favour one or the other but why do you have to slate other people for it you know a strange one so there's going to be people out there that either don't like bethesda they don't like xbox they just like to be trolls and they're gonna like slate it and say it's a buggy mess which it might turn out to be it might turn out to be very buggy i know bethesda the joke is like bug Thesda and all that but rumors are from the people that have played it early and aren't officially allowed to say anything a lot of the things coming out is that it's the least buggy Bethesda game people have ever seen at launch um, here's Kang and Lee oh no um, but we'll wait and see I just think it's going to be a great game and even if there are bugs at the start or things not 100% we'll get it right in time um, I cannot wait anyway nearly approaching the end of this game it's another corner maybe the last attack Surely there can't be more goals, can there? I was hoping I was going to jinx that and we score there. As long as we don't let in one. But yeah, drop a comment down below if you um, have got Starfield or are looking to buy it or have played it. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's a foul, isn't it? He's crossing out. That's a foul. And please go and check out my uh, Master League guide if you can. It would be much appreciated. I don't really like to sort of sell myself sort of thing, but Modric. Oh, just wide. What a great game. I didn't realise Solov got a hat-trick as well. 
Well, as we look down the ratings, as you can see, Substitute Xerxy getting Man of the Match. Don't disagree with that. He made such a difference, as did Diaby when he came on. What a great game, though. And the next match is the semi-final of the Copa del Rey against Atletico Madrid. And then we've got the quarter-final first leg of the Champions League against Liverpool away. So hopefully you'll join me for those videos. As always, thank you for joining. Really do appreciate the support. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.